All right, here we are at Creality Machines. We're gonna walk into it to see what they have, what we're sending. You know, the basic unit, the one that's having a lot of problems most of the time. This is the basic unit that I own. Now they do have the Endor 3 version of it. Free. This is a good seller right now. So this is a competitor to the Cobra Max. So the Cobra Max looks similar to it. It's one of the big machines that we actually own too. Also prints out big, big projects. CRM4. It's cool to see the big monstrosity. Of it. We're going to bring the AWS part. So we got the larger enclosure. It's just an enclosure. It's more D twenty three four. Two two units. They have two of them in there. It's a lift version of the printing. Two colors. So if so this is good. And then you guys have the software, right? Yes, we have it. So we can integrate with the software and the What's the cost on the machine? Uh, the retail because, price yeah, is twenty eight hundred. Eight hundred. That's not bad. Twenty eight hundred. Twenty eight hundred. See, there's not bad either way uh -huh. because of the enclosure. The only problem is, uh, can you bypass the cloud on this one like the other one? Uh, what do you mean? Bypass the cloud and stay connected to your cloud base, like you were saying, because of risks, the government risk programs. Yeah, we can use uh, the, the USB driver. Oh, just a USB. Uh, here, we can use the internal internal network. Okay. Also, yeah. Yeah. So, so, so bypass all the, the network. Things. Okay. You guys fixed that because that was an issue on the last one that you, on the K1 unit. In oh, the K, there's yeah. a problem with that. Yeah, there was an issue about in order to make this connect and firmware upgrade you had to connect to your cloud system and a lot of government job companies like his uh -huh. won't allow that no more you can basically if you don't connect to the, to the, to the network here you can see if you make it offline mm -hmm. you will not go to the cloud okay okay yeah yeah just to connect yeah. to the, to the, to the and you network. set up your own ip to your own units and stuff like that from there or isolate the ip also from there or how does the basic is it a cat how's your basic internet connection there does, because it doesn't have a firewall or anything like that can you set up your own firewall you can set up your own, own firewall okay okay this this, this is a open source community so okay you can, you the, can, oh the clipboard that's yeah, what yeah. You okay yeah, yeah. okay you can, you can, you can clipper yeah that's yeah. what you guys are using that's an open base how about uh, the new orca the new orca orca Bamboo? Yeah, no, well, not bamboo. Uh -huh. They don't own it. It's uh -huh. a third party. Oh, yeah. They also. That is works. it going to be going to be? Too. Okay. okay. Yeah, oh, I, right. I've tried that before. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've tried that by uh, myself. Yeah, I don't like I don't like it. It's not stable enough yet. It's still being worked out, but it's open source. That's yes, what it open is. Open source. Yeah, okay. All of our products so, are open source. $2,800. Can I quote you on some of that? Open $2,800. $2,800. That's not bad. Okay. And what does it include? Just the two bases. Uh, I like. The, can you expand to different colors later down the line? Is it going to be an expansion port for this? Uh, like to add more colors. Like the Bamboo Lab has that extra oh, color system. The AMS system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, do, we do have that for this one, right? Now. But will there be in the future? Any? Yeah, yeah. We are, we are developing that. In okay. The future. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, thank you. I, I have the K1 and I have this one too. Uh -huh. I had a lot of problems with the K1 at first because the filament was an issue. You know what? We That's not a K1. That's oh. a K1C. C. Oh, okay. That's an upgraded upgrade version. One. We fixed yeah. all the problems. Yeah, okay. And uh, we, we, we uh, optimized the structure. Yeah. And all the filament problems are, are fixed. Yeah. Yeah, and we set an uh, AI camera over there. Major issues on that one, that's why. On the yeah. first one, yeah. That was yeah. the one that I was having a lot of problems in. 
I think I replaced the filament twice until finally it started working. But yeah, it's one of those things I had. Yeah, but I'm glad you guys fixed that because yeah, that was a yeah. big issue. I did buy a third party um, from Swiss, the printing unit. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if you guys are able to, you're not supporting it, but it's a third party buying the, the actual hits. Uh, and it does 2.4, 2.4, no, 2.0 and, and 4.0. And I know it's 2.0 on that one, I believe, that you could upgrade, so. Uh -huh. All right, we're gonna take a look at the scanning devices. Uh, this is one of the units I'm looking at right now because this is the one I actually uh, probably gonna own. Uh, but the quality of it still needs to be worked on. Remember, black tone behind it, it's one of those things that do. They got the single port connection directly to it, which is a Neo Link. This is uh, the Intel i version of it, you know, which if you have the Intel, you can actually convert one into that. You need to do modifications on it. The secondary is this one. It looks like more like an iPad system in there. It's like a Raspberry Pi built in, but it's one of the units. And if you guys see the actual scan that they did on the human being, which just came out really good. Scanning pictures and everything is going to be great, but making them three dimensions where you're going to have issues because of the black tone. But they're kind of demoing here, all the products that they pretty much have. Now this is all uh, resin based. This is the largest one they have. Now let's go see their laser printer, the laser cutter. Now, in the past I did, I owned one of these, but if you guys can see, this is a, uh, you're gonna need a filter system, of course. If you don't own a filter system, you need to set this up by a ventilation, but the quality of it, they're showing you guys what you can actually can do. The thickness of it is not so strong. It's 40 watts. It's not the 800, the 80 watts, but it's a start to begin with, the Falcon 2. Right, this is a K1C uh, yeah. that we're looking at. This is the uh, upgraded Hermetic version of it. Chamber, uh, like you mentioned, yeah. a lot of things were and, fixed uh, on it. What I have done as well to uh, be sure that the uh, filament was not stuck, I have removed the PTFU. Remove the PTFU because as the uh, PTFU was too... Uh, yeah. It was kinky. Yeah. So, but as working great quality camera <laughs> not that major issues on the first one yeah like on the first camera, yeah on the so first camera. he said that they upgraded this version of the filament yeah, yeah. intake now i did replace with a third party i bought the swift version of it they're making the actually and it's been working well but uh i kind of and then they also worked on the camera issue that they had yep. too that's another thing that they kind of tied it down uh the one part that i don't like is this part right here the intake of the filament. Ah, they, they, have, they haven't, I, I they haven't fixed that yet. <laughs> I have, I have yeah. printed, I have printed a part yeah. where yeah. you can put a bracket yeah. here. I, I, it. I have that too, but this was a major issue. Even trying to get in into the system, you and know. Even the uh, the filament sensor, you can. And if you notice, put it here. if you have it as it is, it starts inter. It starts tangling itself up in the back. That's why I did the same thing. I had to yeah. print out. They should have gone that same base, just do the outside printing and have it easy to load up. But it's the same unit; it's just the upgraded version of it. And the AI function are now available. Yes. Uh, yeah. So it's, it's natively in this already. Uh, not this unit. Not this unit. It's the larger one. The AI that's function. not the no, no. that's not the laser no, on, scanning one. On, it's, the, on this one, when I have done the, the review. I oh. was able to oh, the, switch the, on the, with, AI, the camera, it, yes, with the camera. With the camera. The other one has the actual, the larger one has the LiDAR. I know, yeah, not the yeah, LiDAR, yeah, so yeah, the AI. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to try and print at 600 millimeters per second on this machine yeah. while not using our Hyper PLA, and I'm going to see what happens. Because our Hyper PLA is designed yeah. to go 600 mils, yeah. but this is standard bichromatic filament, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, I do love your filament. That's one thing I do. I, I like the filament. Look at the surface quality. You know? And then when you guys have this sale under $10, yeah. I jump on it right oh, away. That's good There's to all, hear. They're always on sale yeah. once a month $10 or $10. The yeah. yeah. I've missed that. You miss out every once a month or something like that. You got to be on it. They only have a certain amount. And then okay. you can also download the codes to buy that stuff and, yeah. you know, and get it cheap. Not yeah. just a fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, I was a little disappointed when you guys have this one you guys rushed this one to compete with bamboo but yeah. you had you didn't have all the everything fixed yet you know you kind of rushed Why it out to the market the Ender 3 v3 isn't out yet? Uh, i know oh, uh, the m4 
I actually bypassed that one to buy the Cobra. Oh, really? But it's been working well so, so far. So a lot of, yeah. you know, well, something that a lot of people don't understand is that we have more printers than this. I know, I know. It's just not here. My favorite printer that I still own, I don't want to get rid of it, is still the 3. Oh, yeah? 3.2. <laughs> I don't want to get rid That's of that. That's everybody's rider. Yeah, and the first created. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but. And this is a new, smaller version of it. Oh, well, thanks. 99.6 of you are not subscribers in my channel. I hope that the content helps you out and that you find it very useful. And I hope you hit the like and subscribe.